Hello, Taurus. This is going to be your reading for um, February for ah, Sun, Moon, Rising. Moon card, first one out. So, Moon is your subconscious. So, you have a lot going on below the surface. Ooh. Ooh, okay, so you have Six of Pentacles with the Six <laughs> of Cups, double sixes, okay. So, balance. Maybe it's between, um, this could be friends, family, yourself. Where is there an imbalance? Is it an imbalance of time? Is it an imbalance of, um, spending time with your lover, but this, this is, if you haven't already met somebody, you will be meeting somebody. It's going to be somebody who is really significant in your life, but it's all about balancing. Um, it could be um, your outer self with your inner self, but there's something to be found in this darker part of yourself. And it, ooh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a dark as in like a scary part or like it's more like a hidden. It's more like um, sometimes we hide the best parts of ourselves in the shadow self. But, okay, so you have the chariot. And it's like we're getting doubles hardcore today. So you got seven of swords with seven, uh, the seven of, or the chariot. So some idea is being thought about something it could be a person it could be a place um that uh you're going in your own mind like you could be deceiving yourself or you're taking yourself somewhere to mm, to a really dark place that you don't necessarily want to be um but you have the page of cups in the world here which says that you need to get in touch with your inner child. You need to have some fun. You need to march to the beat of your own drum. You need to dance. You need to have a fucking party. You need to drink a little bit. You need to communicate. You need to get a friend around you who, if you haven't already got this person, um, you need to talk to someone. Because um, this balance energy right here this pinnacles this could be a work or with um or with somebody you're in a relationship with maybe this six of cups but it looks like you're just having a lot of problems dealing with something's going on in your mind um and what is the, um, so yeah because the chariot's about Balancing opposing forces to, um, to get you where you want to be, um, because he's like the two sphinxes, the black and the white one, but he doesn't have any, he doesn't have any reins. He's just controlling them with just his mind. But where you have all these upside down, um, like the five of uh, swords and the nine of swords, you're letting something eat you up in your head about it. You're not being able to control these things that are being put at you and right now it's a very sensitive time as far as the collective like you also have this emperor upside down so your stability your sense of security is being shaken at this time a little bit your um your sense of home your sense of stability your sense of like sound mind you know what I'm saying? Like, something's going on here where it's like, it's like you got a lot of dark, but you have a lot of light on the side. It's just getting to that moon point. It might be like you're making it worse than it actually is, because Taurus really does have a tendency to do that. You guys have really beat yourself up about a lot of shit that you don't need to. Yeah, okay, so, the Nine of Wands. So, the worst is over. The fight is done. Whatever was going on, it's over. You don't have a lot to worry about now. Ooh. And your card pops out. The Hierophant. 
So where are you not being this strong, Taurus, like you need to be? Where are you not leading people? Oh, oh. Why are you not celebrating with your friends? Why are you being stuck in this Eeyore energy? Get out of it. Get to celebrating. And this reading might not be for everybody. This might only just be for a few people. So, um, oh my goodness. Okay. But five of um, cups. You have three fives here on the table now. But you just keep looking at the bad. Stop. Stop looking at the bad. Take this fucking cloak off. Go take a shower. Clean yourself the fuck up and go out. You need to go out. You need to get a drink. You need to see some old friends. You need to smoke some weed. You need to just like, if you, if you don't do those things, <laughs> go eat a fruit salad. Go do something that's going to make you feel happy. Whatever makes you feel happy. Take a bubble bath. Do something, anything to find something to hold on to because you have so much abundance and so much beauty and so much celebration all here with like this world and these things. It's just about not letting your mind control you. Not beating yourself up, not being in, stuck in this energy of sadness. Like, the best thing to do, honestly, to, honest to God, Google Abraham Hicks and listen to about five of her fucking YouTubes and sleep with her. Because that bitch, if she doesn't make you feel good, nobody can. <laughs> you want somebody, you want to share your life with somebody, you want to be happiness, you want to get the job, you want to fucking be fulfilled, you want to dance, you want to fucking celebrate, and it's all, you have, everything's right here, this last cup, and this has come up in every reading, literally, it's either about love, or about, um, something you're passionate about. It could be love. It could be your work. It could be um, something you create. That's normally what I think about, like doing something you love. Like your job might not be your career yet, but that might be this last cup. For some, that last cup might be love. But the thing about love is too, because there's been a lot of twin flame readings recently. Don't think that you need that person to ascend. Find yourself and that person, the right person, is going to come. Because a lot of people have been in a weird energy. Like, at the end of the day, nothing outside of you really matters. It's all inside. It's all internal. And when you work on your internal, the external will match. Period. And a lot of people are having a hard time with that. Ooh, and the ten of pentacles just flew the fuck out hard as fuck. This means... <laughs> abundance, happiness, money, money. Taurus's love money too. Let me pull one more. Okay. Oh. Hanged man. Hanged man is the energy of being suspended, being in between two worlds, not knowing which way to go so you do nothing. Don't do nothing. Cut yourself loose. Let go. Fucking fall into the void. Even if you knock your fucking head off the ground, you will think yourself. Let yourself get a little bit beat up on the way down because the fighting is over. The worst is over. The only thing that's going on is you're still being sad about it. You're still thinking about it. Whatever happened, though, don't stay suspended. Move forward. Like, just cut your fucking self loose from that tree. So, I'm going to pull a couple from here. Because I love this deck. I think you guys need it today. <clears throat> and don't, I always sound like, I don't know why, but I always sound, like, very negative. I think it's because I'm a Virgo. 
I always want to pull, like, the negative shit out first, but don't let, like, me fool you, because I'm like, dude. All this shit is good. Love, money, happiness, parties. This, to me, I think of, like, inner child. Like, <laughs> he's talking to his cup, so whatever is your... Whatever's in your, like, reach to your past, reach to your childhood. What did you want to do as a child? Like, those dreams have been sitting out for, like, a while. They've been sitting and manifesting, like, for a long time. So the older the goal you can think of, or the older the dream, the better it is to pull it the fuck out. Because it's been sitting there. It's waiting for you. Ooh. Ooh. Money. Make it rain. That's it. That's the jackpot. Find whatever things that was in your childhood and go for it because that's you. One more. Whatever you were thinking about doing, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. Let me pull one more. Take a shot. <laughs> okay. Don't take 12. Take one. Okay, maybe two. Move on. So, maybe... So maybe don't cut yourself loose just yet. It depends. For each person, it's going to be different. Um, but you know what is right, ultimately. Um, yeah, but definitely... Take a shot, go party, get yourself loose, get yourself feeling good. You could get all jacked up on that and do whatever you need to do to get yourself feeling right, but abundance is coming. If you're worried about money, don't be, because it's going to follow. It's going to manifest soon, so don't stress. Be in a good energy. Love you, Taurus. See you guys in March. Um, if you guys want personal readings, check out my website, tylerdaysantis.com. Check out my other videos and my website and my art online. Let me know what you guys think. Bye.